Okay, this video is to uh, show you the basic controls for our analog GOS 622G 20 megahertz oscilloscope, uh, the device here in front of us. A um, couple things before we begin with our oscilloscope. You need to understand uh, the analog controls on uh, the system. Uh, to begin with, we're going to turn our power on with this knob right here. Um, we control two channel inputs, channel one and channel two, with our uh, vertical positioning controls um, right here uh, for our, our voltage uh, amplitude analysis. Um, we're going to control our time or frequency with our horizontal positioning knob right here, and we'll control the trigger and pickup um, and our, our source inputs uh, over under the uh, trigger uh, section here. Before you begin, a, a basic way to get started here uh, when using the oscilloscope is turn all of our knobs um, on the top here to the 12 o'clock position. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and turn your volts to the division. Uh, initially here to get started, we're going to turn them at 1 volt to the division. And uh, we'll start out with a 0.5 uh, millisecond setting on our, on our time. You want to make sure your trigger uh, pickup is in the auto uh, mode. Uh, to begin with, um, when we get set, set up here and get started, and um, we're going to make sure we have a positive slope uh, on our, our trigger. Okay, we're going to use a, a channel one source input, and we're going to be in a channel one mode because we're going to be working with channel one. Our variable knobs should all be turned uh, clockwise to the five o'clock position. They will actually lock in place uh, in that position. So. Um, Give a moment here and we'll get this set up with the oscilloscope probe uh, for your oscilloscope probe here's our basic probe that we have that we're working with it's a bnc connector so their little uh, the british nipple connector is what bnc stands for they're uh, two little um, little notches they're going to line up with this when you look here we go sorry about that um, when you stick this in here, you want to firmly grasp the uh, metal or plastic, depending on your probe setup. You want to align that with the notches in the, um, in the uh, socket, and then you're going to do a quarter turn until it locks into uh, position there. Okay. Once you have your oscilloscope probe set up, you can go ahead and turn your uh, power on. and uh, we'll let that warm up. It is a cathode ray tube. Uh, if you had your auto se select on your trigger, uh, you should see a, a fine line up here on your screen. Um, that line is adjusted with our vertical positioning knob here. Okay, and we are gonna work from the midline there. You want that line, you can change the focus. You want this line to be a thin line. Uh, you don't want it to be too thick like that one is right there. We're gonna kind of dial her in here with our focus knob, get a nice thin line, and the intensity or brightness of that knob, I want to turn it down just a tab. Um, you don't want it to be too bright uh, as you're, you're working with this. So before you begin, uh, you need to calibrate your oscilloscope. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to take our oscilloscope probe and you want to slide this back. We're going to hook it in our calibration lug right here okay and that calibration log if I can get in close to it you may see it says cal 2 VPP and 1 K Hertz so our calibration signal is a 2 volt peak to peak signal at a frequency of 1 kilohertz or 1000 Hertz okay now you see I have a bunch of lines that seem to be moving across the screen I can use the um, hold off over here on, under trigger and I can try to get them to stand still as close as possible just a slight fine-tuning adjustments if I hit lock I should be able to lock those into position um, you know once I get them to almost stand still then go ahead and lock my signal now I did choose a DC offset with this if I had an AC uh, offset you're gonna see it's down there and there's actually a slight slope to the line this actually is a DC signal um, this is a digital signal on and off and so I have my vertical positioning set 
So it's on the zero line of my graph here. Um, I might change my horizontal position just ever so slightly so the pickup uh, lines up with the graph or, or division settings here. Now remember our calibration should be two volts peak to peak. Well, when I look at the division setting over here, I'm at one volt to the division. So that means one square equals one volt in the vertical direction. So one square, two squares, that's a two volt peak to peak top and bottom. Uh, signal so we're at two volts and I'm at a uh, one kilohertz frequency so if we take uh, the inverse of that one over 1000 um, you're going to figure out the period of your waveform uh, your waveform uh, should in turn then take a millisecond one full millisecond to complete and um, we actually see that right here where we have our top portion of the alteration and our bottom portion of the alteration. That takes two squares. Two squares times our 0 0.5 uh, millisecond is a one full millisecond uh, completion of that, that waveform. And we could uh, further dial this in um, to actually see uh, you could get your standing wave. Um, I dial that back to each division equals 0 0.1. We'll have 10 divisions over here. So there's my one millisecond. That's a single uh, cycle up there on the screen. Anyways, we have set our oscilloscope up. We've calibrated our oscilloscope uh, to work with here. And um, we're going to get ready to put that into a circuit.